Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Okay, I have the Carnival collection from Magpie Beauty to show you. It arrived a couple of weeks ago and I have been playing around with it. So I'm going to show, show you the gel polishes today. There are glitters and pigments. I will be showing you them in another video. So what I'm actually going to do is just show you the colour. I've already pre-swatched them and then I'm going to show you a tutorial. Just a quick tutorial just using one of the colours and one of the Magpie pigments. So let's get to it. I'm just going to talk you through what I'm actually doing for the tutorial. I woke up this morning with an idea and this is nothing like the idea I came up with. So I'm going to go in with two coats of my favourite colour from the uh, collection and that is Flamingo. So just literally going to paint my nails with the Flamingo and then I will be back once I've cured both coats. Okay, so I have wiped the inhibition layer off my nails and I'm, I've put some liquid latex around them because the black stamping polish I'm using is kind of stainy. So I'm using the, whoop, if I don't chuck it on the floor, I'm using the uh, Born Pretty, just their black. And I'm going in with this image here, which is from the brand new Dixie Plates Mega Manny Mix 03. So, whack a bit of polish on. Scrape. Whoop, throw your stamper across the room, that always helps. Then roll it onto your stamper. So you've got a really nice pickup and then try not to get it all over your skin. So I'm lining that, lining that just up, up at my cuticle area and then removing. So the, the, the neater the placement, the less mess there is. So I forgot to press play then when I was putting the top coat on. So when you do put your top coat on, guys, I'm using Don't Be Tacky, which is the Magpie top coat that is designed to be used in conjunction with their pigments. Make sure that you put a nice, generous layer on because if you don't and you put this on quite sparingly, you'll get pits. And when you put the pigment on over the top, it really, really notices and it looks quite bad. So make sure you put a nice layer on and let it settle it because it sort of comes out almost like a little bit gritty looking and once that settles it goes beautifully smooth and then you can pop it in the lamp to cure so I, leave, I usually leave, leave this to sort of settle for about 10 to 15 seconds possibly a little bit longer oh there's a fluff there I think that is okay so I'm going to pop them in the lamp in a sec and I will be back with the next step okay so the final step is the pigment well, the final step before the final top coat. So this is Magpie Dust in Pandora. So I am going to go in with this and I am going to pop you back on my stamper so you're a little bit closer. So I'm going to burnish it in first of all. So this sticks beautifully to Don't Be Tacky. It sticks really nicely. You don't need a lot of this. It's just pop it on very sparingly so you can see the colour really changes from that lovely sort of pinky coral to a beautiful sort of metallic, much deeper, richer colour. So as I said, pop it on with the 
these are just actually eyeshadow applicators that I get from eBay in bulk because I like to use um, different ones for different colours so I've got a few of these. I do use the Magpie applicator but I tend to use that for the darker colours. Okay, so when you've done this, I then go in with my um, silicone tool. Now, I sell these in my store, so I'm going in with a little bit more product on the applicator or the silicone tool, and then I burnish. Now, the reason I do this is because it, be, it creates, you can see it actually happening as I'm burnishing, it creates a super, super shiny finish rather than a grainy look. And I like the super shiny finish, so you do that for a little bit longer and you get this beautiful shiny look once you remove all the dust so it just sort of really crushes that pigment into the top coat so it still looks a bit dusty that's because there's a lot, lot of excess dust on the nail there but you can do this for as long as you like You can, the more you do it the shinier it will get so once you have gotten the shine that you like you just brush away the excess with a little brush. I actually sell them in my store as well, my little mermaid duster brushes. Really, really cute. They look really nice and they are super, super um, good to use. They're really, really, like they're, they're soft, but they're quite firm as well. So there you go, you can see, so that nail there has got top coat and these two haven't. And you can still see that really gorgeous mirror shine. So it really does help to do that second step where you burnish it in with the silicone tool. So I'm just gonna top coat these off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, all done and they are super, super blingy. They're really, really pretty. That color shift is gorgeous with the Pandora over the top of Flamingo. So I did have a really cool idea to do with the Carnival collection for a tutorial and this is absolutely nothing like what I had in mind, but I really like these. These are super different for me. Now I did want to just show you this nail so you can see an example of the pitting here. So I didn't go in with anywhere near enough top coat of Don't Be Tacky when I did my first layer. So once the pitting's there, unless you start again, you can't get rid of it once you've cured it. If you do see the pitting when applying, just pop a bit more on. So even though this is totally smooth because I did second a second top coat, the, the pitting was there from the first one. So I'm stuck with that. So that's what you will see if you haven't put enough on. But the collection itself is absolutely gorgeous. It's a super, super fun collection. It's really nice and bright for the summer. And obviously it looks completely different. Every color will look slightly different, different with Pandora over the top. So I am gonna leave it there, guys. Thumbs up if you like the video. Any comments or questions, pop them in the comments box and I will get back to you. I'll link all of the products including the Dixie Plate stuff in the description bar below. And please subscribe if you haven't, guys. I really appreciate your support. I will see you in the next one. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.